From all outward appearances, Gabby Petito was living the dream life of a social media influencer when she embarked on a cross-country road trip with her fiancé Brian Laundry. She chronicled the couple's adventures on TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram, where her followers can still admire aesthetically pleasing photos snapped during visits to scenic locations, like Mystic Hot Springs in Utah and the Monument Rocks landmark in Kansas. For weeks, Petito and Laundry traveled together in a white Ford Transit van. But, as reported by the Associated Press, Laundry was alone when he returned home to Florida on September 1st. Ten days later, Petito's family reported her missing. Her story quickly captured the attention of the media, true crime enthusiasts, and internet sleuths eager to help uncover the truth about her disappearance. According to WFLA, a family of vloggers actually filmed Petito's van at a camping area near Grand Teton National Park, Wyoming, on August 27th. They reported the sighting to the FBI, and a body was discovered in the vicinity on September 19th. The remains were later confirmed to be those of Petito. On September 21st, the FBI tweeted that the Teton County coroner had ruled her death a homicide. Laundry has been named a person of interest, but law enforcement has been unable to track him down. As the search continues, reports of his alarming past behavior have surfaced and sparked a nationwide conversation about the warning signs of domestic abuse. On August 27th, Gabby Petito and Brian Laundry stopped at the Mary Piglet's Tex-Mex restaurant in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Witnesses later recalled seeing the couple there, thanks to Laundry's memorable interactions with the waitstaff. While speaking to Fox News, diner Nina Angelo said that he was being, quote, aggressive, and appeared to be arguing with the eatery's employees about his bill. She told CNN his behavior left the couple's waitress noticeably upset. The three people he confronted were reportedly women. Angelo described the scene in further detail in a video posted to her Instagram stories. Per Newsweek, she said, he walked back in, like, four more times to talk to the manager and to, like, tell the hostess off. Meanwhile, Petito was outside crying on the sidewalk. Angelo's boyfriend, Matthew England, also remembered seeing the couple and described Petito as being, quote, visibly upset over the incident. According to Angelo, the influencer apologized to the wait staff for her fiancé's behavior. England shared his account with the FBI, and a manager at the Mary Piglets confirmed that she also reported the incident to the law enforcement agency. Petito and Laundry's tense visit to the restaurant happened two days after she shared her final Instagram post on August 25th. A series of smiling photos snapped in front of a butterfly mural in Ogden, Utah, Two weeks before Gabby Petito's fiancé caused a scene at the Mary Piglets, she shed more tears while listening to a female National Park Service ranger tell her that her relationship with Brian Laundrie was not a healthy one. Melissa Holes is one of the officers who arrived at the scene in response to a call about a potential domestic assault. Petito and Laundrie were traveling near Arches National Park when they were pulled over by officers from the Moab Police Department. Body camera footage showed a tearful Petito talking about how she and Laundrie had been, quote, fighting all morning. She also apologized for scratching his face outside a grocery store and told the officers that she feared he was going to leave her there. No one was charged, but the officers took Laundrie to a hotel so the couple could spend the night apart. Holes told Deseret News that she took Petito aside and told her that her relationship appeared to be toxic. She recalled, I was imploring with her to reevaluate the relationship, asking her if she was happy in the relationship with him, and basically saying this was an opportunity for her to find another path, to make a change in her life. She also described Petito as being anxious about being apart from Laundry. Unfortunately, the Moab police officers who spoke to Gabby Petito and Brian Laundry were unaware of key information that possibly would have changed the way they handled the situation. As reported by Fox News, they did not know that a witness had reported seeing Laundry hitting Petito before they were pulled over. Melissa Holes was also left wondering if she could have saved Petito by saying something different to her. She told Deseret News, it's hard not to second-guess myself and wish I said more or wish I had found the right words to make her believe that she deserved more. Rose Davis, a close friend of Petito, agreed with Hull's assessment of her relationship with Laundry. She also described it as toxic and told People that he seemed to have, quote, a jealousy problem. She said, I just thought he was just controlling. Unfortunately, sometimes victims of domestic abuse don't see the red flags. Natasha Adler, a Safe House Denver domestic violence advocate, explained to Nine News how they often miss what seems so obvious to others. She said, they are gaslit by their partner and say, no, this is normal. This is what love looks like. If you or someone you know is struggling with domestic abuse, please call or chat online with the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-7233.